Hey, thanks for watching. If you want more video tips, just click on any of the videos on the left hand side or subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the box below. And be sure and download your free video survival kit by hitting the blue download button on the lower right side. YouTube videos. Now, right now, we're looking at the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon YouTube channel because they do an outstanding job with YouTube and they also do a great job with their end cards. So this video that just ended, which by the way has almost 7 million views, ends and this card comes up and basically with this card, all of these elements on the end card are interactive. So I can click here to watch more videos or I can click to watch more from this episode. I can subscribe. So if I go here. I'll be taken to other videos that I can watch. So it keeps you on Jimmy Fallon's channel rather than going off somewhere else. And basically it helps you keep control of your viewers and keep them engaged and with you. You know when the video ends, a lot of times a whole bunch of other videos will come up. Well, imagine if your video ends and instead you have an end card that comes up that is branded and interactive and clickable to other links. I can click the subscribe button and subscribe. Oh, and by the way, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Jimmy Fallon's competitor, I guess, also does a great job with this. You can see here they've got a subscribe button. They've got other videos that you can go to. In this case, I was watching a Mean Tweets video. So they have other opportunities for you to uh, go and see additional videos. So it's a really powerful way to keep people on your page and keep them watching other content that you want them to watch. There are several steps to create a video end card. And obviously the first one is to create the artwork for the end card. And I would suggest you use an app like Canva at canva.com because it's free and it's really easy. So all you have to do is go to your Canva account and click start a new design and you want to use custom dimensions and ones that I usually use um, just to make sure that they match up with YouTube are 1280 by 720 and just click design and then that's going to give you a blank slate to work with now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my account here and show you what I created here this one so using those dimensions basically I just brought in a background here I'll do another page here so that we can clone this and I just basically um, started to add things to my background here so if I wanted to I could change that background color um, or, or change it to a different kind of um, texture if I wanted to like that these are all free. Some of them are, are a dollar each, but if you use the free versions, then uh, it makes it a little bit easier for you. So you find the background that you want. And then what I did was I just put in some uh, squares or shapes here to um, as placeholders for other videos that I'm going to have showing. I really could have used just about anything. And for this one, I decided that I was going to do a, a giveaway because I can link this to my landing page for the giveaway. So when they come to the end of the YouTube video, they can either watch other videos, subscribe to my channel, or download the giveaway. So that gives them some really cool choices of other stuff to do. And again, I just added all this stuff in here because I had the you know different artwork. You can switch it out if you want and change it. I brought in a couple of logos. I could have brought in something like this instead and made it smaller. So you've got plenty of um, flexibility here when you're creating your end card. Again, I have the artwork here in my Canva account, so I could bring this over. Um, I really could have done, you know, just about anything with the background here and with these shapes um, but again you can do these however you want you can have one video you can make several videos you can have giveaways so I have a couple of different layouts here 
and obviously I want subscribe to be a big part of it here or if I use this one I I'm telling folks that they can get more video tips then you go over here to get your text so again you can add uh, whatever text you want just by clicking add text and you've got all kinds of different fonts that you can use so you have a ton of flexibility with Canva which is great and it's free which is really great so um, gotta get rid of that so use Canva to create your end card and now you've got the basic artwork so you download or save that download as an image and it's again it's free because I didn't use any of the paid backgrounds in fact what I did was I used I went to my website and got some of the background color I used on my website so it will tie into my website so this bluish background is the same kind of background I have on my website so it all ties together and then I have to bring this into an editing program uh, like iMovie or some kind of video editor so that I can drop the videos in because I want these to look like they're playing when people click on them. So I could, I guess I could go straight to YouTube, but I'm going to do it where I go to the editing program first because I want to show you how I drop in those videos so that they look like they're playing and I can layer in those videos. So first step is Canva, second step is editing, and third step is YouTube, which we'll get to. But let's look at the editing first. So the next thing you do with your end card is bring it into your editing program. In my case, I'm using Final Cut Pro. So I import my artwork, which is really just a JPEG here. And then I've got my artwork here. And then I import the videos that I want to play, or at least look like they're playing. So you can see here as I scroll through how those videos are working. So I bring all those videos in and layer them in. You can see that I just um, made them the size that they need to be to fit here. So I reduce the size a little bit. And then I went one step further and added a music track and a voiceover track down here. So let me play a little of this for you and you can see how it works. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want more video tips, just click on any of the videos on the left-hand side or subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the box below. And be sure and download your free video survival kit by hitting the blue download button on the lower right side. So I've got some music under there. I've got a voiceover uh, and I've got all my tracks set in Final Cut Pro here to make this end card uh, have some visual and musical interest in it. Now, I guess this step is kind of optional, but I like to do it because it really gives my end card a lot of uh, extra oomph. So, now we'll go over to YouTube and make these videos and links interactive. The next step is to upload your end card video into YouTube so you can add your annotations and make all of these elements interactive and clickable. So you go over here to annotations and in this case you can see I've already added my annotations and basically what that means is that where each of these elements comes in I've added an annotation so in this case it's the um, video here, the bottom one here is this video. And if you click on that, you'll go to this video. So I added spotlight annotations. So these are kind of like transparent overlays for each of these sections. So if I go to this one, it's gonna be the survival kit freebie, which is linked to my landing page here at lubortone.com forward slash kit. So when people click on this, they go to that opt-in page, that landing page. If they click on the subscribe button, they go to my subscribe link. So that's another annotation. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six annotations here. They're all stacked right up, one on top of the other. I could make them shorter or longer. Basically, I've made them the whole length of the video just to make it easier. So anytime anybody clicks on one of these things, they'll go to either that video or the opt-in page or the subscribe button. So now I've got all of my annotations created in my end card video. I'll click save or apply changes. 
and that's good to go. So that means now this video with all the links and annotations is ready to be added on to the end of any of my videos. Now the way I have to do that is I'd go into the video editor here under create video editor and if I wanted to put the annotation at the end of uh, a video I just pull the video here drag the video so there's the video and what I want to do with that is put my other video at the end of it my end card video in other words so I go to the video editor and I say okay let's pick my end card let's pick this one and this one and bring those down here so that at the end of this video the end card will play so there's my video hey thanks for watching Oops, you want it's not showing up all the way yet but it will and then the end card is at the end of it here and once I do create video that's going to create a new video end card test with the end card attached to it and that's pretty much it that's how you create an end card so that you can put this at the end of your videos and have your videos be interactive and have them link to where you want them to link to so check it out and I hope this is helpful and if you have any questions email me at VIP at BlueBoreTone.com there's our end card video all beautiful and finished we'll play it for you one hey, more time thanks for watching if you want more video tips just click on any of the videos on the left hand side or subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the box below and be sure and download your free video survival kit by hitting the blue download button on the lower right side that's it hope this helps and we'll talk to you soon Hey, thanks for watching. If you want more video tips, just click on any of the videos on the left hand side or subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the box below. And be sure and download your free video survival kit by hitting the blue download button on the lower right side.